Today we're making a meal from Belarus in Eastern Europe, not Belarus as some people have called it. We're gonna make zurk, which is a fermented rye bread soup that we're gonna serve in rye bread. We're also making rye bread. Droniki, which seems like it's just hash browns. And we're gonna be making kramambula, which is vodka, honey, and some spices. This is the food tour. For our kramambula, we're gonna start 10 days in advance because this needs to steep for a little while. We're gonna pour one cup of water into a saucepan along with one cup of vodka. Mmm, rubbing alcohol -y. To this, we're going to add a pinch of allspice, a pinch of clove, and a pinch of nutmeg. It smells like potpourri. We're also adding one cinnamon stick. We're gonna bring this to a boil over low heat, and then we're gonna cover it and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. This truly smells horrible. All right, we have been simmering for about 10 minutes now. It smells like Christmas booze. We're just gonna move this off of the heat and we're gonna let it drop down to about 140 degrees. We are going to add another cup of vodka because this is Eastern Europe. We're also going to add in three tablespoons of honey. Give that a bit of a stir. We're covering for another five minutes. That should give me uh, enough time to find something to actually put this into. All right, all of my appropriately sized jars are currently being occupied by sauerkraut. So we are going to finagle a little something. I've got a cheesecloth lined strainer that we are gonna pour this through, take out both the cinnamon stick and all that just miscellaneous pinches of Christmas spices. Give that a bit of a pour. Make sure you get all those good juices out. I'm gonna try and get this all into one uh, 12 ounce mason jar, but we'll see how that goes. You know what, I'll take it. And to our jar, we're gonna add three black peppercorns. We're gonna seal this. And we're gonna put it in a dark place for 10 days at room temperature. What's gonna happen? I have no idea. I assume it's just gonna mellow out a little bit and it's not actually gonna ferment. Maybe I'll crack the lid in a couple days though, make sure nothing explodes. So we'll see you in a few more days because we're gonna have to ferment our bread soup soon. Uh, let's see, six days have passed by and now we've gotta start our Zurich, our fermented rye bread starter, which we will eventually be scraping the mold off of and using as the base of our soup. But in the meantime, we've had our kramambula fermenting it's got, a, I would say, a, a healthy amount of slime at the bottom. It smells like fireball whiskey, but less good. Uh, and then with the, a little bit of the leftover, I threw in a coffee bean just to, just to see. That smells not good. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. So let's start our Zurich. Into a bowl, we're gonna add 120 grams of rye bread crust. This is a, uh, it's about a day old. It doesn't need to be is you want to deglove the bread that's basically what we're doing that is a horrific term that you should not look up fantastic to that we're going to add 57 grams of rye flour we're going to add one clove of minced garlic stupid tiny knives tiny knife and tiny cutting board and then we're adding in one cup of hot water And now we mash. Now all we need to do is mash this as best we can into a mason jar. If you're thinking, hey, this doesn't look very good, we do still have to wait and let it get moldy. Somewhere around the middle, I'm gonna take and add one bay leaf and three black peppercorns. Then I'm gonna continue adding my mash. It was the mashed was the rye bread mash. The rye bread mash. We have our Zurich, our rye bread starter. Uh, we're going to cover it, let it ferment for about two days, pluck out the spices, which I should not have put in the middle, and then we're going to let it go for a full four days. That's when we will scrape off the mold, strain it, 
whatever sour juices are left. That will be the zakfas. that will be the base of our soup. So I will see you when we're ready to cook. Hi, welcome to a uh, food tour. Food tour morning edition. Okay. Um, what are we doing? We're making rye bread. Making rye bread because it takes like, takes all day. We're gonna add 330 grams of flour. To that, we're adding 284 grams of water. And then we're just gonna give it a mix. You might be wondering why there's no rye bread in this rye bread. Or why there's no rye flour in this rye bread. Um, I'm gonna wrap it and I'll come back in an hour. But in the meantime, but in the meantime, we've got our Zurich starter, which I've accidentally let go a extra day and it's taken on some odd discolorations. There's a bunch of yeast and mold growing in it. So I'm gonna strain it out through some cheesecloth right now, put it into a bowl, cover that, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use that in our soup later. If you're thinking it'll be okay, because we're gonna we're gonna cook it with our soup, uh, no, we're gonna add it in raw at the very end. One of my concerns outside of actually eating this is that there's not very much liquid that I can tell. It's a very, it's just like damp, moldy breadcrumbs. Mm, it's not bad. So my solution to that is that I'm going to pour it into some cheesecloth and see if I can wring out any of the moisture that's in there. I was never able to find the bay leaf though. I hunted around for about 10 minutes. I think it's just gone. I found one peppercorn though, so that's a success. It smells mostly just of garlic. Not a single drop of moisture has come through. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Hmm. I'm starting to think this can't be strained. Huh. Okay. All right. I don't know. We'll roll with it. We'll use the whole moldy thing. Whatever I can scrape out of this cheesecloth now. Sometimes the issue with uh, recipes from countries like Belarus, when it's like a, a grandmother who's posted a recipe on Alta Vista in like 1989, is that the recipes are just sort of like, you know, you rot the bread and then you add it to the soup and then you just make it. Hey, I got it. So straining the success, I say. So I'll check back in in one hour when we're gonna start actually starting the bread. All right, good morning. Uh, so our all-purpose flour has hydrated a little bit. Um, that's gonna help with the gluten development. The rye flour doesn't really have gluten, so we didn't need to add it before. I'm gonna add that in now. This is 180 grams of rye flour. We've got a tablespoon of sugar and two teaspoons of salt. Um, we're gonna add three tablespoons of honey, which I'm going to measure on this scale because this is baking, we've gotta be exact. So this is 63 grams of honey. We're gonna add seven grams of yeast, which is about one packet. And then we've got three tablespoons of softened butter. And it's okay that it's all over my fingers because now we have to knead it all together. So once the dough just starts to come together, I'm gonna throw it on the counter and I'm going to just knead it until it forms a, uh, I don't know, until it looks like dough. I think that'll do for now. So I'm just gonna throw this in a greased bowl and I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour and a half or, you know, it's bread until it's doubled. Let's see, our 90 minutes have passed by and it looks like our dough has at least doubled. Um, so now we're gonna bake it. 
We've got a baking stone in the oven. The oven is preheating to 375. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of caraway seeds along this uh, baking peel to keep it from sticking, but also not too much so that I don't want it to taste like caraway seeds because they're not very good. But I'm just going to punch down the dough, form it back into a ball real quick. That goes onto our baking peel. And we're gonna let that rise for, uh, I'm gonna let it go for 45 minutes. Continuing our rye bread saga. First, I just wanna make sure it can still freely move around the, uh, the peel and it cannot. Because if it can't slide off, it's gonna catch in the oven and uh, it's gonna make a mess. So I'm just gonna gently lift all the sides, sprinkle in a little bit more of the caraway seeds Act like little ball bearings. Hmm, let's see, well none of that works. Okay, I'm gonna brush the top of it with water. That'll help with the rise and it'll help. That's a really big mess. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more on top. Not too many because now the bottom is just a solid cake of it. Uh, and then I'm gonna do three slashes. Then I'm gonna throw it in the oven um, with a little bit of steam. It's gonna bake for about 45 minutes. Okay. Our bread is done and it's cooled. It, it looks okay. It's cooked. Looks like, looks like, it looks like like bread. Uh, so now all we have to do is start our, we have to finish our Zurich. So into a, into a Dutch oven, we're gonna add three, oops, a little less than three cups of water. I've got half an onion, hold, hold. I've got a whole half of an onion, unpeeled. But the, uh, I'm gonna peel the horseradish and the parsnip, so. No, I don't think the onion needs to be peeled. It feels, it feels odder to leave it out. Back in the whole half of an onion. Uh, then we're going to, we've got half of a parsnip. I'm gonna hot dog it. Um, I'm just going, it's been a long day. Just going to peel the parsnip. Kind of rolled in my face. That smells good. I don't know what that is. I guess it's parsnip. I need like a compost pocket. This I don't need for a long time. We also need a fourth of a celery root. I was hoping we wouldn't have to kill, but let's see how this goes. Sorry, man. This we're also just gonna take the uh, celery root rind off of. Smells like a thick hunk of potato celery. Okay, uh, we're gonna turn that to max. It's only a couple settings. Uh, we're gonna let that boil. We're gonna take it all back out. We're gonna let it come to a boil. Then we're gonna throw them in. All right, we are back. We have boiling water. We have three cups of boiling water here in a Dutch oven. We are going to add our a uh, quarter of a celery root, a half of a parsnip, and a smaller portion of onion because I did not buy enough. We're just going to reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 40 minutes. We're just going to take the lid off and let it simmer for about 40 minutes. All right. Wrapping things up, we've got our, we've uh, finished boiling our vegetable broth, so I'm just gonna take out the vegetables. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm gonna strain off what's left of our vegetable broth, which is not much. It's not much. I'm gonna turn the heat back up and I'm gonna set this aside for now. I'm gonna throw two strips of bacon into the Dutch oven. <gasps> and I've got a pound of smoked sausage that I'm gonna throw in. Easy open. Easy open. 
The smoked sausage, I'm just gonna slice thin. Not, not thin, I'm gonna slice it. See, I don't mind moldy bread soup, as long as there's a pound of sausage and a couple strips of bacon in there at least. I'm also gonna mince up a clove of garlic. Clove-ish. I'm also gonna chop up our quarter of an onion that we had from before. These I'm all just adding right to the pot. Give it a stir. Ooh, smells like a pound of frying sausage. Smells like breakfast. Um, I guess while I'm waiting for that to brown, I'm going to, I'm gonna peel and grate. I want 25 grams of uh, horseradish here. Uh, so it's gonna be about half the stick also. Now I've got a little plant, someday. Hopefully, maybe, probably not. I know two things in life. One is that every dish in Belarus has three black peppercorns. I don't know why, it's just essential. The other thing is that no pepper grinder manufacturer wants me to be able to get peppercorns out of the pepper grinder. It's a Herculean effort. I'm gonna add four. No, not because of that. Because I'm an American cowboy. John Wayne. You know what I forgot about? I forgot to make Jerniki, the hash browns. I don't think we've got a potato, do we? Well, not Jerniki then. I just want to bask in it. Mmm, got that fat getting to my pores. So it's going to cook at a low boil for 20 minutes. There's about a cup of vegetable broth. How is that gonna work? All right, once we've got some brownie, we're gonna add bay leaf, the obligatory three black peppercorns. We're gonna add half a tablespoon of ground marjoram. We're gonna add our vegetable broth from earlier. And we're gonna add our 25 grams of grated horseradish. Plus finger skin. Plus thumbnail. <laughs> 25 careful grams. And now we've got something that doesn't quite look like a soup. Um, it doesn't quite look like a soup base either. Uh, we're gonna let it boil for 20 minutes, but I'm a little concerned that there's gonna be nothing left. I can already see the bottom of it if I scrape it up. I'm gonna add a bit of water. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a cup of water. I'm gonna start there. This boils for 20 minutes. We're gonna see where, it, where it's at in 20 minutes. All right, all right, here we go. Wrapping it up. What's that called? What's that called? Final stretch. That's where we are, right in it. We have boiled, we have, lightly boiled for 20 minutes. Uh, it still smells like a big uh, soupy pot of fat. Is that good or bad? I feel like it depends on how much you've been drinking. Anyway, we've got our Zaktvas, right? No, this is our, this is our Zaktvas. Uh, we're gonna add that in. And it's basically just a rye sourdough starter, which is fine, that's not too weird. It's, it's weird to eat it raw, but no why I picked the dish. Anyway, we're adding in a fourth of a cup of light cream just to give it a little bit of fat. It's still a little bit chunky from some of those rinds that didn't break down, but I've turned off the heat. That's it. We are ready to eat. All right. So we have our, what do we have? What do we make? Zurich. We have our rye bread and we've got our cramambula. Where to start? This looks like looks like sausage and gravy. It smells like it. There's pooling fat. It's just this one solid color. A little, a little more sour. A little more. Uh, I don't know what I'm smelling. It smells like sausage. The cramambula. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be drink over ice or just straight. So I'm gonna do both. I don't know if you can see. There's a. I would call it a healthy portion of slime at the bottom. Oof, that smells, smells like a red hot. I don't hate it. 
Also, as mentioned previously, I have my coffee bean concoction. It is equally slimy. A little dense. I don't care for that. It smells good though. I've seen up close how much yeast and mold is growing in this thing. And it's on my, ooh, that's good. Mmm. It's good, but it is very, mm, it's, tasty. it's very much like sausage and gravy. It tastes like, a, you know, eating a big spoonful of sa 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 yep. yeah. sausage and gravy. You wouldn't do it. It's too fatty. It's too thick. It's too intensely flavored. Not to be, not to be biased, but uh, rye bread's a trash bread. I'm just too negative right now. I gotta take a drink. Yeah, I just, I just smell cinnamon. It smells like a red hot. I have no idea how I feel about that. That just kind of like time passed. I don't know what happened. It's better than vodka. Uh, it's noticeably sweet in the beginning. There's, I feel like the cinnamon's just in the smell. I don't really get it anywhere else. There's the alcohol like the rubbing alcohol burn afterwards. I don't mind it. Oh yeah, I want some more of that. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna drink all this slime. You may have noticed that I lied about two things. There were two promises at the start. One was that there would be draniki, which obviously we've covered and it, no one's more disappointed than me that I don't have a bunch of fried potato patties here right now. The second is that we were gonna serve a fermented rye bread in rye bread. And here I am dunking rye bread in a rye bread starter. It was a little too late and it was well after it was baked that I realized I had made such promises. But with that said, the whole reason I bring it up and remembered it at all was that this would be so much better if it was in a, uh, a bread bowl, like a little bread bowl. If I had made this into, I'm gonna go as far as three bread bowls. That's irrelevant, cut that out. If I had made this into a, a bread bowl and it had gotten all soggy and then it soaked it up, I think that would have been just right because then I could be fishing out all these sausages. Not a care in the world. And then at the end, I'd have all this soggy, delicious bread to eat up. I think one other issue I have is that this bacon's all limp and it looks disgusting. It's the saddest bacon I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Not to tell them what to do, but I think I would have. Mm. It is very, not, no, it's not very sour. It's a little sour. It's noticeably sour. I think it would be weird to eat on its own because it is still like mushed bread, even though it's been fermenting for five days now. even though it's been going for five days now, it's still very like wet and mushy bread. I don't know, it's just a little disturbing to have wet and mushy bread in your mouth. Like, I wasn't the one chewing it. It's just a whole, it's a whole psych psychological like battle that's going on over here. A little taste of it on the rocks. That's kind of just like, uh, it's kind of like drinking vodka. It's not better than drinking it straight. If I still had a sourdough starter growing all the time, I feel like this would be a more reasonable thing to make. But for someone, whew, where am I? This is the food tour. Hmm. Do I say that at the end? Don't I say that in the beginning too? I say it both. Hmm. One thing I forgot to review is my rye bread. And though I'm not terribly impressed by the, uh, by the holes inside, gotta say, it tastes pretty good. It tastes like bread. This is okay. I probably didn't need to add this. And another thing. We got our, we, got our, we have our, our coffee accented uh, Cramambula, our Eau de, de Starbucks. Ugh. It smells bad. It smells like a boot. 
coffee is not what I needed. That smells rough. That smells unpleasant. I'm gonna, I'm just doing a half glass of that. I don't even know what that scent is. It almost makes me more sober in its unpleasantness. It's like medicinal mixed with old, uh, mixed with bad. I don't... I hate it. I don't like that. I'm going to be throwing up. All right. Bye.